It is not always possible to be certain about the origin of chest pain just by its characteristics as the variation between individuals is quite a bit. There can be a lot of overlap between symptoms due to heart disease and disease of nearby organs. Still, some general observations are possible regarding chest pain originating from the heart. The typical pain of cardiac origin is a central chest pain which occurs on walking or other forms of exercise known as effort and china. This pain is caused by insufficient blood supply to a region of the myocardium. Effort angina is commonly due to significant obstruction to a coronary artery. The pain can radiate to the neck, lower jaw, arms and upper abdomen. Occasionally, pain may be felt only at these regions without pain in the chest. Then it is known as an anginal equivalent. A heavy meal may also bring out similar pain as cardiac output increases during the digestive process due to enhanced splanchnic blood flow. This is known as postprandial angina and often indicates multivessel coronary artery disease. Pain is likely to be more if you are walking after a heavy meal. Pain occurring after a meal is likely to be mistaken to be gastrointestinal disorder. Pain of effort angina will be more when you are walking uphill rather than downhill due to the higher level of exertion. It can also be more when you are walking against the wind and while carrying a load. If pain starts occurring at a lower level of activity than before, it means that the obstruction in the coronary artery is progressing. A fall in level of hemoglobin in the blood due to loss of blood from any part of the body can also increase the pain. Effort angina is usually promptly relieved by rest or nitrates. Pain of myocardial infarction occurs in a similar location as effort angina but is more severe. A pain lasting more than 30 minutes is usual. Chest pain may be associated with undue sweating, anxiety and palpitation. But these symptoms can also occasionally occur due to severe anxiety and panic. Chest pain of myocardial infarction is not relieved by rest unlike effort angina. Though it may start after an unaccustomed exertion, it will not stop on taking rest. Another type of pain originating from the heart is due to pericarditis. This pain occurs continuously and may increase on deep breathing like pain originating from the pleura. Pain may be relieved on leaning forwards. Pain of pericarditis can increase on swallowing or odonophagia and mimic pain from the esophagus. This is because the esophagus is just posterior to the heart and food traveling through the esophagus presses on the inflamed pericardium. A still rare but very dangerous condition is an aortic dissection. Dissection of aorta causes severe pain in the upper part of the chest or more often in the upper back. Pain of aortic dissection is tearing type and is more severe at the onset. As it is a very severe disease process with high mortality unless early surgery is done, Emergency hospitalization is needed. Very transient catching type of chest pain may be insignificant and occur from muscles of the chest wall. Pain originating from the muscles, bones and joints are usually aggravated by local movements or manual pressure. Passive movement of the painful muscle or joint will also produce pain. In case of pain originating from the heart, pain occurs even when you exert with the legs while pain originating from the chest muscles is unlikely to increase with leg exercise. Pain from the chest muscles can increase with arm exercise as some major muscles needed for arm exercise are attached to the chest. Nerve root pain of preherpetic neuralgia and cervical rib also comes in the differential diagnosis of cardiac pain sometimes.